What's up everyone, it's Chris with B Minus Demos, and today we're spending some time with Fuzzent Pedals. Let's go. Before we get started in this video, I just want to say a very, very heartfelt thank you to everyone who stops by this channel. Whether you're watching a video for a couple of minutes, or you tune into every single video, and you comment and you like things, it means the world to me, so thank you so, so much. If you haven't, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like this video when we get to the end of it, share this or any other video, turn on the notification bell, do all those things that makes YouTube know that my channel is worth watching for other people as well. Today, we're gonna be looking at the Fuzz M brand. I have four of Justice's pedals, um, and he has several more that I want, but I just kind of wanted to make this video and showcase the pedals a little bit, but also use this as like a jumping off point and kind of an introduction point if you've never heard of Fuzz Imp. Fuzz Imp is a one-man operation. Uh, these pedals have incredible build quality. The sounds are somehow both familiar and unique, uh, and dollar for dollar it's some of the best money that you can spend along with really great pedals you get incredible service justice is very uh, active on social media platforms uh, he has always been excellent about getting back to me quickly whether i had a question or was just making a comment or anything like that He's super fun to talk to, he's a great guy, um, and he makes really, really amazing pedals. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. I, I can't say it enough. I've got four Fuzzent pedals here that we're gonna take a look at, and then when I get to the end, I'm gonna go over a couple more that he has that I'm just like really, really anxious to get to try out. First, we're gonna start out with the Shroot Original. And if you've seen his pedals before, this is not a normal Shroot, or it doesn't look like a normal Shroot. So before I get into this one in particular, I'm gonna grab the iPad and I'm gonna read about what this pedal is. All right, so the Shroot is a versatile pedal with three simple yet highly interactive and musical controls. Essentially, you've got gain, volume, and tone like you would see on just about any sort of three-knob drive pedal. This can do kind of that clean-ish, you know, kind of edge of breakup kind of sound that you might get from maybe something like a Tube Screamer, but then you can also really push it and really push the drive and get some really good kind of amp-like overdrive and distortion tones, which is my favorite way to use this. Now, if you're familiar with the Shroot or you're going online to buy one for yourself, it normally looks like this. But Justice reached out to me one day uh, while I was still waiting for another pedal that I had bought to be sent out. And he said, hey, have you tried the Shroot? Is that something you're interested in? I was like, I haven't tried it, but I'm definitely interested in it. And he's like, well, I'm gonna send you one. And this is a normal Shroot circuit. Maybe he was working out some stuff or something like that. But anyhow, he had a Shroot circuit, stuck it in this box. And um, I am really, really grateful that he just sent this out to me. That was super awesome. You've got volume, tone, and gain which on a normal Shroot would be Bears, Beats, Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. So we're gonna jump into a quick little jam here. For all of these pedals, I use the exact same setup. I used Amplitude 5, I used their, it's like J8000 or something, but basically their Marshall JCM800 and uh, the officially licensed Orange Cab that they had for free this month. Let's get into those sounds now. <laughs>
Next up, we've got the Obtanium, kind of a preamp style overdrive pedal. This one in particular is in like this hammer tone enclosure that was kind of a limited thing that he was doing and it is absolutely beautiful and I am convinced nothing can make me think that it doesn't make it sound at least like three to five percent better and that's worth it to me. According to the website, the Obtanium gives you a volume boost, versatile EQ, and clean gain response, making it an indispensable tool for achieving a wide range of tonal possibilities. This one has a lower overall gain structure than the Shroot, or at least it seems to, um, and I run it at a slightly lower setting as well, so you get a little bit of a cleaner tone. This honestly is kind of my go-to low gain drive. The EQ section in this is really incredible. Uh, it really brings forward the mids in a way that I find so pleasing. Let's go ahead and listen to the Obtanium. Next, we are taking a look at the Cinder 5, and I'm gonna just, this this may be my favorite fuzz that I've ever used. I don't really have to pull up the website on this. I know that this is kind of a modified muff that has so much more. It has a clean boost that gives it kind of a, a HM2 style, you know, kind of mid bump thing. Uh, you've got so many options on this. You've got a boost that once it's engaged, it really tightens everything up. And this goes from a muff style uh, fuzz to like a really, really aggressive distortion sound. You've got three different clipping modes. You can choose between regular and hot. And this is just, it's my favorite fuzz pedal that I've ever used. Now this, can absolutely get crazy and you can use it for wild wall of sound kind of fuzz you can use it for crazy distortion but i as someone who's not a huge fuzz user um i use it at a very very low fuzz setting and i love the texture that it gives me i love playing it with open chords where i've got open strings ringing out um I like anytime I, you know, do chord shapes that maybe aren't something I would normally do. I, I just think this makes everything sound so, so cool. Now I have done a full demo on this um, and I'll try to remember to put a card for that up there, but you can find it on the channel. So let's listen to the Cinder 5. <laughs> Finally today, we're gonna take a look at this weird little guy. This is the Fuzz Imp Creature, and this is an oddball. 
in like the best kind of way. This is a synth fuzz uh, and it can make some really gnarly sounds, some really quirky and crazy sounds. Uh, it's just a super awesome, super weird little guy. Uh, I'm gonna read about the controls on here. So there are five interactive controls. Uh, the squish and gate are bias controls that act as independent gates for various transistors in the circuits. Clang is the gain control for the inline overdrive fuzz circuit, which kicks in around nine o'clock. Uh, when cranked, it enhances low notes, causing the fuzz to bloom and compress. Fuzz setting, of course, is the fuzz control for the second fuzz circuit that's in here. And then you have just an overall level setting. So again, this one is strange. I don't, it, I think it's awesome. It doesn't necessarily fit what I always do. I try to, I tried to find a way to kind of showcase this, but my favorite thing about it is the crazy noisy synthy stuff. Uh, and you'll see that at the end of these sounds. So let's go ahead and take a listen. <laughs> So those are the fuzz and pedals that I have. I love these pedals. The quality on them is just absolutely incredible uh, for, you know, like the, the black cases, at least the ones that I have, they have a texture on them that's really nice. I love the knobs. All of the switches are super heavy duty. Uh, most of them have like your noiseless uh, switching on them. I love it. It's great. Uh, again, the Obtanium is like this kind of, uh, special edition color that he was doing. I think he's done this same case for the sender as well. Um, but it's just, it's so, they're so high quality. They're amazing sounding pedals. They're built to last. Um, I love this brand. Like I said, there are some that really, really stick out as ones that I wanna try. I eventually wanna try everything, but um, the Echo Moon, which is like a kind of saturated, uh, I think like a tape delay kind of thing, uh, seems really awesome in all of the demos that I've seen. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to getting to try that out sometime. And then there's the Drat, which is based off of a Brat, which is based off of a Rat. Anyhow, it's, it's his version of the Rat. You guys know I'm a huge Rat fan, so the Drat is, especially drive-wise, definitely the next thing that I would get from uh, Fuzz Imp. Now, listen, I, I wanna make clear, I bought all of these, except for the Shroot that he sent me. Um, I bought all of the rest of them. I would absolutely buy each and every one of them all over again. So if you haven't already, check out Fuzzamp. Look up Fuzzamp here on YouTube. Other than that, check him out on Instagram and uh, on TikTok. And I'm not on Facebook, but I'm sure he's on Facebook. And then you've got the website, fuzzamp.com.
All right, hey, that's it for me. I'm gonna get out of here. I genuinely appreciate everyone taking time to sit with me through this. Please check out Fuzz and Pedals. Have an awesome week. Later.